getting ready to set sail on Virgin Voyages, here are six areas that I bet you're probably not gonna try out on your cruise, but you absolutely should. Hey everybody, it's Brandon, The Weekend Cruiser, where I go on a weekend cruise just about every weekend. And there's a few areas on Virgin Voyages Scarlet Lady that I am currently sitting on that you all are not going to. And I think that it is a wonderful, underappreciated venue that you should be checking out on your cruise. Though I can see why a lot of you just might not do it, but do try to make an effort to see these places. The first one is gonna be the arcade here on Virgin Voyages. If you want nostalgia back to the 1970s, 1980s, when arcades were a thing, it is a great time. They are complimentary. You don't have to pay to play in the arcade here. All the games are free. You just walk up to it and you start. They even have multiple player features where you can play with somebody that you are cruising with as well. They've got probably 10 different games in here and it is a good time. It is never crowded, but make sure that you check it out and relive some of your childhood and a teenage years knowing that there's no kids on there because it's Virgin Voyages to get in your way. The second place is gonna be the back deck. Now this is one of my personal favorites and I think it is very versatile and people People just don't go out there too much. I don't know if it's cause it's tough to find. It is on deck seven all the way in the aft of the ship. But number one, their food there is really good. You can order small bite plates. So if you get hungry in the afternoon, go check out the octopus, grilled octopus there. It is super good. They've got fresh pressed smoothies and juices. You can use your sailor loot on, which is also really good. But they're gonna have day beds. If you wanna just go and lay out, throw a towel down and get away from some of the party vibe up by the pool, this is also going to be a good spot for you. But something I'm also learning, I learned this on my last cruise when I was here, they do something called stargazing out at the back deck. And this is where, you know, you look up at the stars and they kind of tell you what you're looking at, but you don't have to go for that, but it is still a fantastic spot in the evening, you hear the sound of the wake of the ocean, and they've got it really well lit up and designed for evening activities. The third location is gonna be outside of the galley. Now this is on deck 15 aft. If you stay inside of the galley, you can eat in there, pick up all your food, and then go outside to the back part of the ship and eat out there. It is fully covered, it is shaded. They've got comfortable seats, lots of tables, but nobody ever goes out there. Everybody's sitting inside in the air conditioning and that's not why you came on a cruise. You came on a cruise to be in the heat, be in the humidity, to enjoy. Go sit outside. My personal favorite thing to do out there, and I've got this in a lot of spaces, is sit out there and drink my coffee first thing in the morning. Maybe watch the sun rise or see it set in the evening. It is a beautiful spot. Also a great spot if you're just looking for some good outdoor card games space. Maybe you want to play Mahjong out back. This is also going to be your spot. Another relaxing area that you can find is going to be on deck seven. This is going to be, I just call it the outdoor space. I don't think that it actually has a name. Midship on both sides. There's some couches and chairs that you can sit on to enjoy looking up at the ship or looking out at the water. It is normally very quiet of here. People are more playing on their phones, they're reading books, there's a relaxing area. It is also a great place to take your first cup of coffee in the morning. The Coffee Grounds uh, Store Cafe is right beside of this so you can easily take your cafe, go outside and have your coffee first thing in the morning while sitting outside. There's also normally a shaded side and also a sunny side. So make sure you're picking the one that is appropriate for you. The sunny side, I will tell you, can get really, really hot. And for me, it makes it tough to read with the sun glaring. Now this is probably one of the most hidden places on the ship and it is called The Perch. It is located on deck 17 aft, all the way in the back of the ship, all the way at the highest section of the ship. To get here, you're gonna go to deck 16 and then take a staircase upward. There is right beside of one of the staircases, an elevator, a single elevator that only runs from 16 to 17 to get you up here. I normally find no one up in this space. They've got some chairs, they've got some tables. Again, if you want coffee, play a game, relax, maybe even pull out one of the mats and do a yoga class up there or enjoy yourself. There are plenty of things that you can do up there, but nobody ever goes up there. So it is really a peaceful and relaxing spot. Every now and again, you'll see them doing a dance class or Zumba up here. It also looks like it's great for events of some kind. So if you wanted to do a wedding or a ceremony on the ship, I think this would also be a really cool venue for it. And this sixth one here is sitting in absolute plain view and people walk by it all the time and never stop to enjoy it. It is the Sun Club Cafe. It is a 
Hawaiian Poke Bowl restaurant that sits on deck 16 by the pool. So one floor up from the pool. Their food is fantastic. It's nice and refreshing. It's light. It is really good for Caribbean heat and temperature weather because it makes you feel like you're by the beach a little bit. It is a wonderful restaurant. They can customize and make whatever it is you want there, but give it a shot. Not everything has to be eaten in the galley for lunch. You can also swing over to the Sun Club Cafe and get a fantastic lunch. But if you're really looking to step up your pro game when you come on Virgin Voyages, make sure you're heading over here to my pro tips for a Virgin Voyages sailing. Things that I've picked up along the way that I wanted to make sure you knew about so that you had the best Virgin Voyages sailing you can. All right, everybody. This is Brandon, the Weekend Cruiser. Hoping to see you on a Weekend Cruise soon.